We now know that when Mundy painted this portrait, he was probably painting his friend. We don't know if it was a paid commission. We don't know if it was created in payment for accommodation. We don't know if it's a token of their friendship. But there's warmth and sort of sensitivity within this portrait, which is a typical Mundy trait. So since this project began, we've discovered that the four portraits are actually not of who we thought they were. We had thought, because of the family tree which had come with them, that they were of the Gores. But we now know that the Gores didn't actually exist in that family line, and that the younger Jessie White married a woman called Elizabeth Stanfield. We now know that the portraits of the younger couple by Mundy are of Jessie White's older sister, Rosina White. We also know that the portraits of the older couple are of Rosina White's parents, Thomas and Sarah White. Now that this work has been cleaned and conserved, we can really see that it's a work by Henry Mundy. This project has taken a long time. It has been at least 12 months. You know, it feels really good that now it's complete and the painting can be exhibited. It's a big relief to have um, got it to where it is today. This portrait contributes to the Tasmanian colonial history and understanding the people that uh, were here in the 1840s. The history of the treatment of the painting is also important because we learn about conservation over time. The painting is housed in a frame from around 1910, so our next step in the project is to consider replacing that frame to one that would have been more typical of 1840s. It was on the precipice of of really being beyond repair, I guess, so it's very satisfying to save it. So this has been a really long treatment, a really extensive treatment. It's been something that I've come and gone in and out of. It's really been on my table for a year. So with a frame treatment like this, one of the important things is to know when to stop we want to retain some of the cracks and the, and the discoloration and the dirt, but we want to give the life back to the frame. So when we decide to reframe the Mr White portrait, we may decide to use a, a simple timber frame such as this, which is very common for portraiture in the 1840s, 50s in Tasmania. And we know that some of the other Mundy White family portraits are also framed in hue and pine frames so there will be a link between them that will be more effective. Henry Mundy, when he was really struggling, he would stay with Thomas White in his pub, The Lamb Inn, on Brisbane Street. And we know this because in the inquest following Mundy's death, Thomas White, the subject of this portrait, spoke. And at that inquest, he spoke about their friendship. They'd been friends for at least nine years the fact that Mundy had stayed with him for the eight or nine weeks prior to his death, that during that time Mundy had appeared to be quite insane, he'd become intoxicated. I began working at TMAG in 2008 shortly after these portraits had arrived here. And you know, I remember them, they were a little bit dirty, we didn't even know who they were by. And then to have followed that path of the portraits, you know, over, dare I say, 14 years, um, and to now have three of those portraits which have been properly conserved and which are exhibitable and which we can confidently say are by Henry Mundy, that's just fabulous for us here. I think overall the treatment was successful. We can really see the sitter's face now before it was masked by the yellow discoloration. I'm hoping that he would be happy with the result I think the artist would also be happy. I think it's uh, closer to what the artist intended. Mm -hmm.